In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create anchors to scroll down to a particular section in CMS elements in Webflow. It's 2021 and let's dive straight into it. I have my personal website right in front of me and I want to open a CMS collection. In this case, I have blog post collection and I picked an article already. And there are two things that we need to do. We need to add a link with an anchor and we need to add the anchor itself. So the anchor can be added by clicking on plus and here we have the code block inside the code block let's take a look here we need to write a give the anchor a name in this case it's understand and then close the tag so we have understand and then in the place where we want to link to that section you just add a link and then the link itself has hashtag and the name of the anchor that's pretty much all it takes to create anchors let's do another one we have two at the moment let's create another one so we have the taboo we're going to open it with a give it a name taboo I need to put in parentheses close it and there we have the anchor that is called taboo I'm going to scroll all the way up and I'm going to create another link, hashtag taboo. Then let's publish the website to see the changes propagate. I'm going to click on publish. So the changes were published and let's navigate back to the article and let's refresh it. So here we have the links. Let's click on taboo and it scrolls all the way down to the taboo section. Let's try out creativity techniques and it scrolls all the way here. As you can see, the scroll was not instantaneous. It was smooth scroll. And this is the last trick I want to show you. We're going to go to our pages and find the template for the CMS collection item. In here, you need to copy paste this code. So we need to give this custom HTML style and it's scroll behavior smooth. This way, it's going to be easing on the click otherwise it's going to be instantaneous which is slightly suboptimal and that's pretty much all it takes to create anchors and tables of context in webflow cms elements and i'll see you in the other video cheers